Hey everybody, this is Craig from Nineville Games, and today we're doing another weekend grab. Obviously, it's not the weekend, it is Monday. Um, as I'm posting this, I'm going to put it up the night that I do it. Um, but shortly after I had posted the weekend grab that me, Dan, and the noob went to, or Dan, the noob, and I went to, um, my aunt posted something uh, on Facebook looking for anybody who could donate GameCube or N64 games uh, for the children at the hospital that she she works with. Um, so, obviously, um, I said that I would help, and even if I didn't, my mom was going <laughs> to, my mom was probably going to make me anyways. Um, but no, absolutely, I think, uh, I think it's great, especially the systems that she's asking for, GameCube and N64, because kids today only know about uh, Halo and Call of Duty, which is disgusting to me. Uh, they need to learn their roots. <laughs> um, but, obviously, I went back to the place that we had went to, which was the most excellent comics and gaming uh, in Enfield, Connecticut. And uh, the guy there, Mason, was really cool. Um, you know, I told him what we were doing it for, and he gave me a bit of a discount, even threw a couple games in. So, uh, to my Aunt Eileen, you can not only thank me, but you can thank the man at uh, Most Excellent Comics, comics and Games, or... All of them down there, you know, it's technically it's Sarah, all their stores, so they all contribute. But uh, here's what I picked up for him. You know, I tried to get as child-friendly as I could. Older games are mostly child-friendly, but uh, I tried to get him some classics, games that I had when I was an N64 uh, fanatic. Uh, I got him Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer. Classic. Classic, especially anybody who saw Episode One when they were younger, uh, before they realized that it was an absolute crap movie. Um... Pod Racer was awesome. An awesome arcade version uh, of it was made, but this was definitely still awesome on GameCube. I mean, uh, N64 if you had one. Uh, Bio Freaks. It's just a fighting game, uh, general fighting game. People don't might not realize this, but Bio Freaks is actually the prelude to um, what we all knew as Mortal Kombat 4. So technically, it's the same thing. It's just a lot, you know, more comic-y and goofier. Um, is that even a word? It's a lot more comic-y and goofy. How's that? <laughs> uh, but obviously it was mature back then, but by today's standards, kids are so desensitized that I think it's appropriate for anybody. Um, Extreme G2. I used to love the Extreme G racing games. Uh, that's about it. Uh, it's a racing game, multiplayer. Kids have an E for everyone. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Every child should know where this was before that crappy shred came out, that disgusting crap that completely stunk the franchise. Yeah, you heard me, uh, Activision. Your game was crap. You know it was crap. Um, F-Zero? Come on now. Any Nintendo fan who doesn't know F-Zero? Captain Falcon? No. Uh, Wave Race 2? Um... Obviously, it was a launch title, uh, Wave Race 2, <laughs> Wave Race 64, uh, it was a launch title, it was a classic game, I played the crap out of it, uh, back, back when I was younger, it was, in 1996, uh, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil, was, uh, it was a pretty decent game, actually, um, my cousin Kyle, who's my Annalene son, used to have it, and we used to play this all the time, she probably remembers. Um, WrestleMania 2000, in my opinion, uh, probably one of the best wrestling games ever made. Not for the sense that I actually uh, enjoy wrestling. Um, it, I think it was just mostly to create a character. I had fun just creating my own character and watching them walk out. Uh, I think that's pretty much what everybody plays wrestling games for. Um, so kids would enjoy that. Uh, actually, the prelude to it was WCW NWO. Um, it's the same game, honestly. Uh, it just with WCW characters. Um, actually, these these two in the next game, uh, the man tossed me and said, you know, to send it to the kids. Uh, and then V Rally, racing game. Once again, easy two-player game to play. Uh, so enjoyable. I'm not big on racing games, but uh, and then I grabbed some GameCube ones. Um, you know. Uh, I grabbed, uh, you know, Tarzan, because what kid doesn't like Disney anything, so I'm sure they'll enjoy that. Uh, 
Defender, remake of an actual classic. This game wasn't that bad by itself. It's a two-player game. I figured, you know, it's pretty neutral. No violence, no blood, any of that stuff. So. And uh, this was a classic. I actually got this as a launch game. Rogue Leader. Um, you just play through various scenes of Star Wars. Uh, obviously, everybody's favorite is destroying the Death Star. Um, kids can play it. It's one player, but it's a nice game that you could, you know, take turns on. Uh, you do a run, I do a run. Uh, I believe that's actually how me and my cousin Jay used to play it. But, classic. And then uh, I grabbed a couple of my games for my stash uh, because I need to make room. With so many games coming out. Um, Mario Party 6. Uh, I think Mario Party 6 was great. Um, honestly, it was the one that came out before the, the one that needed the microphone. So, obviously, I don't have the one with the microphone because I think that's stupid. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's one of four players. Mario, it's Mario Party. I don't even need to explain it. You already know what Mario Party is. And then uh, I'm going to give them my general case. I know, I hate general cases. Uh, I'm going to give them my Pikmin. Oh, I don't know why I say that wrong. Pikmin for GameCube, just because when I was at the weekend grab, I grabbed the Pikmin uh, new play control one for the Wii, so I really have no need for this anymore in my collection, so hopefully they'll enjoy it. Uh, it's a cute game. That's the best way to put it. It's a cute game. But, uh, yeah. So, I'll be donating that to the children at her hospital, and I hope they enjoy it. <clears throat> And if you're a viewer or you're someone on our site and you would like to contribute, um, you can. You can contact me. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I'm going to put my e email address below. If you're on the website, just go to the About Us and you'll find my contact information. Um, if you have any N64 or GameCube games that you'd like to donate, um, feel free. Uh, we're not asking for money or anything like that. But if you got any classic games you don't play anymore, um, and you feel like you want to do something good with them, you know, just email me and I'll get back to you uh, with the address and stuff from where you can ship it. Okay, thank you guys for watching.